and this is our little video of visiting a couple of friends um, and then going off back to our hometown to see the grandchildren, the daughters and my mum uh, Yeah. after nine months. Yeah, it's been a long, long nine months. Uh, lots of you have obviously gone through the same thing um, with lockdown and that and obviously with Deb, with what she's gone through. Um, it was last August. Yes. Yes, and that we popped back um, to our old hometown, saw saw everybody. So no, it was great. Yeah. It was absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, very very emotional. The very. first few moments. Yeah, you know, it doesn't take a lot to set me off. <laughs> um, yeah, um, but we did have yeah. a great time. Oh yeah, fantastic yeah. absolutely time. brilliant. Yeah. Um, we was put up in our normal uh, place. Uh, yeah. the, as the kids call it, the summer shed. The summer shed. Uh, it's a mixture <laughs> of because uh, our daughter and son-in-law sell. Um, sheds yeah. and summer houses. The the kids call that our summer shed. Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit nippy, mind. It, yes, yeah. At night night time was a little, a little bit on the chilly side. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, um, I think British summer has been cancelled this year. So. <laughs> it's been awful for everybody, and it. I just I feel sorry for the people that are actually canal on the canal on their holidays and people camping and that. The weather has been atrocious. It's not been nice, but. But obviously there's nothing you can do about it. That is the British weather. Well, this is a little bit of a weird one. We are in Northwich and we're visiting friends, Colin and Sean on their boat. And they're moored in the exact same place we was five months ago when what happened? Found the lump in the breast, yeah. Yeah, so it uh, seems a little bit strange <laughs> Come, coming back, back to here. So, um, yeah, weird. So after having such a serene life on the boat, when we got back to the daughters, um, they with three boys. Yeah, uh, 11, 8 and 7. seven yeah. Mm. yeah. And they are, they are... Full on. As I, yeah, I that's say. a good, that's yeah, a good so way of putting we, it. Full on. We experienced 10 days of what I could only describe as sensory overload. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh no, it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But just not used to that much attention and that much sound. Yeah. If yeah. All three will try to talk to both of us at once whilst we're having a conversation with our daughter and our son-in-law and the fifty-inch tellies on the go, the computers on the go. Each of the children have got a tablet on the go. Everything's all at full vo volume. So <laughs> we'd get, we'd sneak back at night into the into the summer shed and just peace and yeah, quiet. Just pretend we was on the boat. Mind yeah. you, I wouldn't give it up for anything. That oh no, truth. no, that was yeah. absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, so the kids, they have a wonderful life. They're, they're homeschooled um, and they uh, they have a, a, a happy medium between their like their gaming and being outdoors. They're very, very much outdoors yeah, kids. Yeah, as you saw last time, they had the big skate ramp. Well, they've done that, got the T-shirt. <laughs> don't, want, don't want to be professional skaters or scooters anymore. They're into their quad bikes, their motorbikes. Yeah, um, they, yeah. they still go to the skate park now things are, are opening Easing, yeah. yeah and unfortunately i had to join in with all of it and um things didn't quite go to plan all right now going for a spin round the estate with my grandson hold tight ladies scream if you want to go faster
have I just done Deb? Oh no, it's not Deborah this week. It's Nanny. What have I just done, Nanny? He's had a go on a motorbike, and he came off. So he has his whole. Well, I've actually changed my clothes. He clothes. hasn't had oh, a yeah. wash. Well, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't had his a. His whole left side is full of mud. Yeah, but it's Maximus's fault. He made me do it. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not in Debbie's good books. Just had a wipe out. What just happened, Maximus? <laughs> you fell, didn't you? Uh, I think I was pushed. I didn't fall. <laughs> I've just been whizzing around on his new motorbike and um, not as good as I used to be. <laughs> so, pointy finger, there's dirty jeans I've just had to take off. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it, I, I did get a little bit tired. Um, I, I was more tired. <laughs> um, it, Falling it off a motorcycle was very tiring. I had to, <laughs> to self heal and everything. No, you didn't. You yeah. had to wash. Yes, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, it, it wasn't tiredness, it was fatigue more than anything. Um, but uh, sort of managed it quite well didn't overdo it so so I did manage it quite well so I was quite happy about that it didn't sort of ruin my time there if you know what I mean which is good and obviously as you can see we're now back to yeah. the boat and this is our last couple of weeks just doing the last minute bits and pieces before we become continuous cruisers Yay! again yeah so uh, we'll be getting rid of the car and we'll just be back on our own in the wilds it's a yeah. little bit daunting after Scary. Seven, seven months of being in the marina the luxury of it all and well the safety as well you know yeah. having the car yeah. to just pop pop to the shop and and things like that so it's it's all going to be sort of getting back to being organized and 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 things like that not using so much yeah. water and just just <laughs> finding those nice beautiful uh, yeah. secluded moorings that we like yeah because it's our last couple of weeks um the jetty we was on a jetty uh, which overlooks the canal um we've been taken off yeah now the 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 mooring who's where our boat was we was allowed there because um there was a chap having a boat built well he is now um his boat is finished he's now in the marina and wanted his mooring back so we're now back in the middle of the marina where we originally was on, on, B, on jetty. B jetty for the last last couple of weeks and um then we will be off so my list of things I had to do, I had a list of 10, 11 items that I wanted to get done while we was here in the marina. I think I've done one in of In the them. last seven months. Yeah, yeah, one of the most important ones I wanted to do was get the gas locker cleared out, sanded down, rust treated, painted. No. Um, I think I'm going to do that next month yeah yeah when, when the weather's warmer yeah and well i've done one thing on my list and added about four but hey oh that's that's boat life yeah that's mark for you yeah yeah a uh, couple of exciting things to reveal in uh, the next video yeah um i can't remember what they are but i know they are they are exciting which is why they're not going to be in this week's video oops oops if the camera angle or the lighting's just changed um <coughs> <laughs> I knocked. I put my foot out. And knocked the camera over. Um, so, and I can't even remember where I was. So, what I'm going to say is um, just a massive big thank you to all our continued patrons and support over on PayPal. 
couldn't do it without you guys yeah, as you will find you so, out so next much. week there's always something um and unexpected expense yeah and um that is it I yeah yeah is so if you week. enjoyed the, this week's little video press the like button if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button if you want future notifications of any of the videos we upload the bell icon and keep the comments coming yeah and, and I hope we'll you like see it. you all next week bye, bye.